Mirio's original. This is our Web Crawlers Mailbag episode where we play your voicemails, read your reviews, and read your emails if we feel like it. I'm Allie Siegel. <laughs> I'm Melissa Stettin. And I producer Maria. Melissa Stettin, do we have any uh, yes. reviews? We have one. Yes. Ooh. yes. It's from Karen Lynn 1998. I too crawl the web. Crawl the web with your internet friends, Melissa, Allie, and Maria. I started at the beginning of the pandemic and I'm all caught up now. They're my go-to mental distraction for when I'd rather not hear my own thoughts. Love these uh-uh. gals. They make me LOL during my commute, errand runs, and laundry days. La la la. Thank you. Love. That's very nice. Love it. Also, I will say we found out we are like seriously charting in Japan. We keep going from like 25 to 50. So unfortunately, not not for our, uh, our next few episodes, but we're going to start doing some uh, Japanese centric episodes. So watch out. Here we come. Wait, I think I think we've hit two million listens. What? <laughs> Shut Check up. It out. Check it out. Is that for reals? We're at two million. We gotta play YouTube. What's that? What's that thing that they did at the like uh, the Dell computer thing where everyone was like uh, going nuts? Oh, oh, oh wait um, a minute. Where Steve Ballmer was? Yeah. Wait, what all happened? Crazy. You know the 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 Microsoft. Uh, yeah. You know. I was at the one where Bill Gates is like yes. nodding his head at like yes. like that. Yes. That's really upsetting to watch. All those where nerds he's like just yeah. Windows, yeah. The Windows ninety five launch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's okay. upsetting to watch. Hold on, hold on. I gotta I gotta send it to you. We gotta play this right now. Nothing has ever been more important. Oh yeah. This is, is. Two, <laughs> this is us at two. This is us at two milli. My God. Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. Just old dudes. A <laughs> bunch of nerds. Sick, dude. Sick. Sick, bro. Well. Wow, thank you guys. That's huge. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. So many millions. I mean... Two. Two. Two, of them. <laughs> two of them. The whole two, two whole million. millions. Okay, well, let's should we get into these? Yes. Okay. Here is numero uno. Hi, this message is for the web crawlers. This is Lauren from Oklahoma City. Oh my god. Been wanting to call for a long time. Short time listener, but I have like binged all of your episodes, podcasts, whatever. And I was like, I'm not going to call until I get through all of them. And then I heard the last episode where Hurley called in. I was like, bitch, <laughs> if he can call in, I can call Hell in. Hell yeah. And yes. Oh my God. Such big fans. Um, super excited. Hi, Maria. I have my birthday's Hi. May 15th. I heard yours is May 16th. Hell yeah. My Taurus soul sister. Yes. Um, so y'all talk about Oklahoma City. Every once in a while it pops up and I'm just like, God, like I never hear about things that happen in Oklahoma. Like, what the fuck? And then I remembered all of these crazy murders. So yep. y'all should look into, I mean, it's just kind of ridiculous, but this kid named Alan Ruby, he killed his mom, dad, sister, um, because he was trying to get like their um, inherit- inheritance early. Oh, no. And um, had been in trouble because he was stealing his grandma's checks. He like went on this whole like, took his friends on vacation to like Dallas. And um, the whole time, like, he had just murdered his parents and oh sister. Oh, God. So, wild, crazy. You should look into it. Heart, heart, heart. Uh, la, la, la. Uh, ka-ka, ka-ka. That's a new one. And for all my stars. <laughs> <Ooh-de-hoo>. <laughs> all right. Bye. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I like, I like, ka-ka. 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 Okay, next message. Oh, yeah, it's this Lauren again from Oklahoma City. Hi. Don't want to be that person that calls twice, but I am because uh, I forgot to say that that dude who killed his parents and sister were from Duncan, Oklahoma. Um, Duncan, Oklahoma, also fun fact, like, 
Australia super fucking hated Duncan, Oklahoma, because these kids, like, shot this guy who was jogging and uh, shot and killed him just because they wanted to see what it was like to kill somebody. Oh, my God. He was from uh, Australia, and then bing, bang, bong, here we are. They fucking hated Duncan, Oklahoma, like, wanted us off the map. So, yeah, thank goodness I don't live there anymore. But, yeah, crazy, crazy. Sorry for calling twice. Okay. Bye. Mm -hmm. Dang, Duncan, Oklahoma, hated by Australians. Damn. Unlikely rivalry. Unlikely rivalry. <laughs> okay, next message. Web crawlers, I was just listening to your Josh Groban episode, and he hasn't appeared yet. Um, I am excited. But um, <laughs> you're talking about how you don't think you've ever eaten a whole hazelnut, and you've ever had a Ferrero <laughs> Roche truffle. Yeah. I mean, um, I don't know if they're really truffles. Like, you ever have one of those little yeah. Ferrero Roche balls? There's yeah. hazelnut in the middle. Okay. Oh, that's right. So I just need to let you know. That's, you have had a hazelnut. Bitch, <laughs> 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 you've had, had a hazelnut. <laughs> you're all very uh, refined ladies with refined taste. Okay, bye. <laughs> Fine ladies with refined taste. Of I, course, we've all had for fair yes. Ro Rocher. I love how like insistent she was being like, you guys have had it and you need to accept that. You need to like, <laughs> you know, you cool had that. <laughs> like you guys, you guys have, have had, had it. had a hazelnut. Stop being ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> okay. I mean, she's right. She's true. Yeah. Yeah. You're, yeah. Yep. Hi, this is for the web callers. This is Lauren from Oklahoma City again. Oh, no. Third call. Unapologetically, because I'm confident that it's not a big deal. You say, don't don't say sorry after everybody says sorry. So you know what? I'm not fucking sorry. But <laughs> synchronicity. So late, I left the stuff about Oklahoma City. And then a little bit later, somebody called in on one of your mailbags who suggested doing the Oklahoma City Girl Scouts. And she said you know, that she was from Oklahoma City or whatever. And um, then she also did a shout out to Clint, who I was thinking yesterday, oh my God, I should have done a uh, shout out to Clint because my friend Clint is also who got me hooked on the web crawler. So I'm wondering if it's the same Clint. Oh. Also synchronicity, uh, somebody in another mailbag said something about like, why are mini M&Ms so much better? Mm -hmm. And I was just like, God, it's just because of the crunch. And then Maria literally said right after that, it's the crunch. So, yeah, see? Uh -oh. There you go. All right. It's the wow. crunch. It's, it's the crunch. crunch, baby. It's Surface the crunch, area. brother. Yep. It's a crunch, brother. It's a crunch, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Next message. Hi, this is a message for the web crawlers. This is Jennifer. Um, I was listening to your Halloween episode, and it brought back a memory that I had totally forgotten about. Uh -oh. um, when I was 14, <laughs> I was kidnapped. <laughs> I was going to this like weekend performing art school for like all ages, and I have this like really vivid memory of these like little girls in jazz shoes telling their teacher that their parents wouldn't let them go trick or treating because they heard there was going to be anthrax in the candy. Oh, boy. Um, it was oh, very God. of the moment in 2001. Oh, yeah. Um, but I didn't know if you had similar rumors where you lived, and it just, um, I was reminded of that weird moment um, by your discussion about poison candies. Um, yeah. I love your show. I hope you guys are doing well. Bye. Yeah, I remember anthrax was like a huge thing. Yeah. My grandma used to, during anthrax, when she would send mail, she would write non anthrax or a bomb on the mail. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that's what a, that's what a guilty yeah. person would do. <laughs> it was so funny. And my mom had to be like, uh, grandma <laughs> or she'd call her by her name but she'd be like you don't need to do that like that makes it look weird and that's, that's why all your mail so is being returned or, or being open or everything is yeah. arriving completely open yeah. <laughs> grandma it was so funny. funny okay next message hi this message is for the web crawlers um it's me Allie M calling again um Allie I was the one talking about New Jersey um, I mean, oh, you probably not didn't hear it, but like, just in case you did, I'm going to send an email about it later. But anyway, um, I just thought of this because I thought you guys had a Chernobyl episode. I mean, I mean, maybe you do later, but I thought you had like an earlier one, you know, maybe that's like, so. a Mandela effect yeah. or something, but that reminded me, 
And I was like, oh my God, I have to tell you guys a story. And it's about the craziest guy I've ever hooked up with. Um, oh, yeah. I was like back exactly. in college like a few years ago. I think I was like 20, um, so like three years ago. And um, I found this guy on, on Tinder and he like went to my school and I went down to school in Daytona Beach and um, he was a uh, class under me. But anyway, that's, that's not important. So, but he's, he's originally from, or he lives in Pennsylvania and he lifeguard, lifeguards literally the next time over to me. So it's kind of weird we made, met in Daytona, not in Jersey. But anyway, so one day we're like hanging out after hooking up, whatever. And he's like, like I was talking about how I hate guys' toes because they're so gross. He's like, yeah, sometimes I keep my socks on because I don't want to weird anybody out. And I'm like, Uh-oh. what? And then he proceeds to tell me that he has eight and a half toes. And I'm like, holy eight? shit, let me see them. And like, I really don't like toes. <laughs> and let me see those has, bad like, boys. Literally eight and a half toes because he won born and he was adopted from Russia and he's like a hundred miles north of Chernobyl. That's where he was born, but he still like had the effects of Chernobyl. So he had webbed feet and when he was adopted in the U.S., he couldn't walk with the webbed feet. So they, his adopted parents cut, um, you know, his webbedness to give him real toes, but he only was left with eight and a half. And he was like a surfer, so you know I would be like, "Oh, do you hang eight and a half?" And like he didn't appreciate that. I thought it was pretty funny. But yeah, anyway, funny. he was so super psycho. He was like obsessed with me. He like texted me one time, like a screenshot of his ex girlfriend, and she was like, um, "I think I'm pregnant, and you're the dad." And I was like, "I'm not dealing with this craziness." But he was like literally so obsessed with me, called me all the time. Like I had to block him. He would get angry at me for no reason. And then when I would say talk to him, he's like. What's wrong? But yeah, I think you should do something about Chernobyl and how it still affects people today because he still affected me as a crazy person. And I think it's because of Chernobyl. Uh, is this, oh, oh my God, I thought this was going to... Oh, that's why I hurried up because I thought this was going to turn off. Anyway, so yeah, so he affected me today. So I think there should be like an oh. episode that you guys should do about like how Chernobyl still affects the world and maybe yeah. even like Ukraine, Russia, whatever. And he told me, like, he had siblings that, like, his sister was born with really... Uh Uh-oh, it ends. Is there a part two? There's, I don't see a part two. I don't think a friend was. of mine, uh, this girl, Lindsay Apatow, was doing a documentary on Chernobyl because I believe right outside Chernobyl, there's a small community where people still live. Yeah, you can live there. It's, like, safe in yeah. certain parts. Yeah. But we should we should do that and we should have her on because I remember like yeah. two years ago she went to visit and stayed for a while and like went through all the ruins and talked to the people who had been living there for like years and years. But yeah, crazy, crazy stuff. That's fascinating. We we all watched the Chernobyl show on. I actually did not I didn't. watch it. Oh, what? It's so good. I watched the first episode and then I was like, I can't, I can't keep going. I mean, it was pretty sad and intense yeah a lot of accents yeah a lot of different accents that's true a lot of accents confusing it was good though it was interesting wow hanging hang eight and a half hang eight and a half man that's funny okay next message hi this message is for web crawlers and i'm driving and i'm very stressed but i had to tell you this as soon as i heard Josh Groban on the Halloween episode. Uh-oh. Um, this is not related to Bill Josh Groban in any way uh, or Perfect. to Halloween or to anything that your podcast is about. It's just a chance for me to air out some trauma from my childhood. Uh, when <laughs> I was in high school, um, my face was like a big deal. And there was one of those like apps that you would upload your picture and it would tell you what celebrity you look like. And I had this friend, Wendy, who was doing it, like, over and over for herself. And she didn't get answers she liked. But then she started doing it for all of us. And um, she felt a lot better about herself than as a teenage girl. Like, they were all getting answers of, like, pretty female celebrities. And then she put my picture in. And I came back as, like, a 97% match to Josh Groban. <laughs> which is, like, not a bad, like, Josh Groban looks, like, fine. He looks like Josh Groban. He has a face. But I'm pretty sure it was, like, my unplugged, you know, 15-year-old eyebrows. Um, but it, like, really did some damage on my self-esteem because I wanted to be, like, a pretty, you know, oh, celebrity. But no. I was just 97% Josh Groban. But I embrace it. It is what it is. Um, 
Yeah. Have a wonderful day. Look, Josh Groban is a, an attractive man. I got, um, you know who I get when I do those things is I get Marilyn Manson. <laughs> Wait, I, who do you look like? Who do I say you look like? Michael Pitt. Michael Pitt. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you do. <laughs> That's like crazy. Michael Pitt and Marilyn Manson. I always, Marilyn always Manson. get, always get men. I know. And I didn't understand it. And so I kept, do, I did like 10 different pictures and each time I got Marilyn Manson. I look like Charlie Corsmo, the little kid in What About Bob? And um, he's also in um, Can't Hardly Wait. He's the guy that's like, don't drink the beer. The beer's gone b- bad. Like, I look like him. Like, I for real look like him. That's weird. I don't know who I look like. <laughs> you just I look like know. Melissa. You're one. I know. You're, you're just Melissa. Like, I honestly do. I just sent you a picture. Like, I do kind of look like Marilyn Manson when he's not wearing makeup. <laughs> Marilyn Manson not in no makeup is shocking. Yeah, it is shocking. He's just like this normal dude. <laughs> oh, my God. I sent the picture to my mom and dad and not to you. <laughs> What's wrong? Thread. <laughs> Talk like, about okay, shocking. Honey, is, this, is this your new boyfriend? Honey? Yes. Who is this? Yes. <laughs> gonna be that so picture confused. is so weird. Too. <laughs> they're gonna be, yeah, they're gonna be so confused. Allie, you do not look like that at all. No. Like at all. No. Uh, I don't know. Well, that's, that's not what uh, the app said. No, that is not you. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Your parents. Yeah, I'm going to call her time. Um, oh, man, I'm regretting calling already. I shouldn't be saying this out loud, but um, uh, this is uh, prefers to remain anonymous for the moment. Okay. Uh, okay. Your Halloween episode, History of Halloween, you went on a little tangent about naming nuts, and <laughs> I was going to mention a great game idea that is completely inappropriate that I came up with uh, several years ago. Never actually played it, but um, you are welcome to. It's called Name Those Nuts. And it's where uh, if you have, I guess it could be all guys or there could be girls. You get somebody's cell phone and um, the guys go into a bathroom or somewhere private and Take a picture of their nuts. No. There you go. Name those nuts. Um, no. <laughs> you get the collection of pictures, and then you give it to the people who are playing, the, the women or the other men. No. And name those nuts. And so they'll have pictures, and then they'll have the list of names to go with it. I mean, that's pretty funny. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I guess that's it. That's the whole thing. I hadn't thought it out too much. But, man, what a million dollar idea that is what so, a game okay i'm i'm embarrassed <laughs> you can delete that uh-uh. 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 Stupid. Uh-uh. okay bye i think it's a party game if every you know you invite people over to play name those nuts and if everyone signs up to come play you know i you know yeah well there's no harm in that that's it's a no. fun game it's a fun yeah, ad- adult game, and name game. The nuts. <laughs> Name those nuts. Name those nuts, baby. I would have played that like in high school for sure. Oh, you know what I would do yeah. is I would go into the bathroom and take a picture of like I'd like have a thing of hazelnuts like in a bowl. And then I take a picture of those. A and real then I, close up picture to where it's like, wait, is this? Are those nuts or are those nuts? nuts? Are those nuts? Yeah. <laughs> Classic Maria. And then, yeah, people would go, Maria, <laughs> come on. Maria. Maria. I go, what guys? Haven't you? Can you take a joke? <laughs> can you take a joke? <laughs> okay, next message. Hi, this message is for the web crawlers. It's Caitlin from Toronto. Um, I've called a few times, but I was just listening to your latest mailbag, and this is the one that ended with um, a voicemail from Jeb. And I'm not going to lie, every time Jeff calls, it's literally my favorite thing. (laughs) However, I was sitting with my boyfriend listening to um, Jeff's call. And he was like, wouldn't it be funny if it was just 
Allie's brother, like, putting on a voice and just, like, long trolling her, like, a trolling her in the long game. Um, so then I was immediately obsessed with this conspiracy theory. <laughs> and, I mean, I think, <laughs> I mean, the accent's, the accent's on point. So if that is him, he can add that to his acting resume. But we did hear him do some great, um, some great accents in Forgetting Sarah Marshall. He was doing his mm-hmm. vampire play musical, so who knows? But anyway, I just thought I'd share latest conspiracy theory with you. Um, love your show. I'll probably call back again soon. <laughs> Bye. I love conspiracy theories about the show. That's a good one. Wow. I never thought of that, but it's possible. Maria, you have never told us what phone number it's coming from. So I know where it's coming from, but that's not to say I that's not to say that your brother doesn't have a burner phone. You know, or that's true. He, he could be a know, burner. I you know, he could be two steps ahead of us. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, something to consider. Something to consider. Something to consider. Okay. Next message. Hi, this message is for the web crawlers. This is Jesse from Maine. I'm calling again because I had a synchronicity that I wanted to tell you guys about. So okay. when I called last time, I told you that first of all, that I watched all five seasons of the show Leverage and also that I don't know what time it is when it's streaming, which when I heard it played, I was like, that sounds so stupid. So whatever. Anyway, the only reason I'm mentioning, mentioning Leverage again is that I was watching an episode of the new season. Uh, that's my daughter talking in the background. Hi. <laughs> And they, there was an episode where they mentioned a sandwich, and the flavor of the sandwich was anchovy and cheese. And I was like, it wasn't a big part, but I'm like, that is a type of sandwich I've never heard of before. And then right after that, I watched an episode of Midsummer Murders, which is, I don't know if you've ever oh, seen it. Oh, an acorn. It's very British. My and parents love that show. My mom loves 1997, it yeah. like so old. And this guy offers another guy a sandwich, and it's anchovies and provolone. And I'm like, oh, wow. I have never heard of this type of sandwich. And then I saw, I don't know, uh, these two episodes both had that, and like back to back and decades apart. I thought that was weird. So I'm like, have weird. you guys ever heard of an anchovy and cheese sandwich? Nice. Maybe it's just one of those gross things that British people eat. I don't know. It must um, be. Who am I to talk? I eat, um, all kinds of weird stuff. So anyway, um, that I wanted to tell you. And I had one other thing. There's a murder case here in Maine from the 1980s. It's um, Dennis Deshane is who went to prison. And the girl who was murdered was Sarah Cherry. There's a lot of debate about whether or not Dennis is actually guilty. He oh. may be serving life in prison as an innocent man. I said this to one of my friends, and she got really mad and said he definitely did it. But I feel like maybe he didn't, so I don't know if you guys want to look into that or not. Um, anyway, that's all I got for you today. Um, la, 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 love you guys. Okay, bye. Anchovies and cheese. That's got to be a British thing. I thought it was thing. sardines, or was it anchovies? Anchovies. But I, I think that sounds like, especially if it was like a small sandwich... Like I feel like it could be really good, like a real, like a really good cheese with some anchovies with like some really crusty bread. I bet that would actually be pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I could. See, yeah. Like a like a toasted. Yeah. Bread. Open faced, maybe even might not- melted melted cheese yeah. on anchovies. Okay. Let's. Yeah. This looks good. Fried fried mozzarella sandwich with anchovies. Okay. It's gonna. It's gonna it add anymore. a salty burst. It's gonna add a salty burst of flavor. Maria, it is a salty burst of flavor. <laughs> what was the Dennis name of the Deshane. What was his name? Dennis. Dennis Deshane. D e c h a i n e. Nineteen eighty nine. Thirty one year old Dennis Deshane of Maine was convicted for the murder of twelve year old Sarah Cherry. He was sent to life in prison. There's a documentary called Murder in America, the Sarah Cherry Story. Oh, wow. wonder if that's on Discovery Plus. I bet it is, and I bet I'll watch it. <laughs> Bruschetta with anchovies. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, a, a, yeah. A salty burst. What is that what I said? A salty burst? 
A salty burst. I have a salty question. Burst. How do sardines and anchovies differ? Because I tried to eat sardines because they're hot right now and I couldn't get on board with it. Aren't sardines much thicker? They're like, sar- I'm much, I don't think I've ever eaten a sardine. Our anchovies are like thin. They're like a thin. Yeah, anchovies okay. are thin. Anchov- yeah, the sardine was like a, subs- yeah. it felt like a substantial baby fish. That's like a, oh, that's like got a meatiness whole- to it. It's the whole fish, right? Or anchovies are just smaller. Anchovies are smaller. Have you ever, when you're making like a pasta sauce or something, put anchovies in the pan, let it, when you, with some olive oil, it boils down or it simmers Ooh. down and the, even the bones melt. So like you get all the umami Whoa. flavor in there. It's pretty intense. I've never done that. Try it out. Melissa, I'm going to send you something that's really going to piss you off. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh-oh, What? A picture of Marilyn Manson without makeup. <laughs> <laughs> no, not going to send that to my parents instead. But look at what they suggest on toast with anchovies. Send it oh, to the Oh, no. Group is chat. it radishes? You bet your sweet ass it is. <laughs> radish, radish sandwich with anchovies and butter. <laughs> I don't have a problem with radishes. I have a problem with how shocking it was seeing you make <laughs> just just eat like a whole radish or whatever you were doing that day. For those of you who don't know, there was a week where I just, for some reason, got super into radishes, <laughs> and I started eating radishes with butter. I ate radish toast, and Melissa was infuriated. I, that just, I do not like radishes, but I've never had them on toast with butter. I just, I don't um, like them, like, in salads. I don't you don't like, even like them pickled? Um, a pickled radish is a real gift. Mm, I bet I do. <laughs> it really is. I like pickled things, so I probably yeah. do. Well, wow, wow. Well, moving on. Well, we could talk about this forever, I but yeah. Just for web crawlers, this is Kensington Blue again. Um, um, just going to assume that Maria deleted my email, and you guys didn't think it was the worst thing ever. I do not get the emails, um, Kensington. Also, I had theorized about a conspiracy that you all were a part of, so maybe that's just huh? adding to the conspiracy. You, you just didn't play my voicemail because it's true. What? Um, also, what? I'm sitting in front of a park <laughs> and a big white van just pulled up behind me and it's creepy as fuck. So hopefully I won't get murdered even here this voicemail. Shout out to Jeb for putting the date <laughs> on his voicemail so I realized that y'all had caught up and I didn't get played. I know this sounds really crotchety and angry, but it's not really. I don't know what um, I... I do love you all and I hope you're having a great day and have a safe Halloween. Bye. If I well, I don't know what she's talking well, about. Well, she said, okay, so she said email, and then I I think, right? Did she say oh. email? And then I said, well, I don't get the emails. And then she, I think she meant to say voicemail. And if your voicemail wasn't played, then it may have just gotten deleted on act. I, I can't imagine I wouldn't have. I mean, there's or sometimes if, if it's like garbly and we can't yes. hear and it's too hard to put together, well, we just won't play it. So it might have gotten, it might, the connection might have been bad. Because I don't listen to yeah, them before I play, before I, I literally just send them as they come yeah, in. Yeah, we just listen to them. Unless they they're in. all garbledy. So if that happened, we're sorry, but call back in and say it again yeah, and I'll look for it. I'll look for it and and um, we can play it. We can, we can up it to the front of the line. Yes. We want to know what this conspiracy is about our show. Yeah, <laughs> no, I really we're involved in it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next. Hi, this message is for the web crawlers, and um, I have a web crawlers confession. Ooh. Okay, so um, I'm in love when with I first Allie. Heard Allie <laughs> had like a brother. I was like, oh, I know that guy. I, that's Ted Lasso. And then for episodes beyond episodes, Ted Lasso. for like dozens of episodes, whatever, uh, I saw that person on TV. I'd be like, man, that guy's related to Allie. And then. Uh, I realized wrong I made a big mistake, and then I was like, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe I messed up!" And I was like, "Well, it's not that big of a deal." But uh, <laughs> anyways, um, have a nice day, and sorry about that. But you know what? As long as I'm laughing right now, yeah. Bye. <laughs> She thought Ted Lasso was your brother. That's she pretty thought funny. Jason Sudeikis was my brother. That's, That's funny. Good thing he's not, because that that man fine as hell. Wow. Yeah, that'd be that'd be a problem. 
That'd be a problem. I, when he did that teacher skit on SNL, he was oh, bringing the heat. That was a good. That was a good. Good sketch. Good sketch. Good sketch. That was a good sketch. Okay, this is the final voice. <laughs> <laughs> we should record that. That's a good song. Yeah. <laughs> The final. Here it is. Web crawlers. Ah. When you blow your nose, <laughs> do you look at the paper? <laughs> do you look at the paper? Who is that? When you poop. <laughs> Who is that? Do you drink enough water? No. Do you shop at Sears? No. Do you like trucks? I like trucks. I like big trucks. <laughs> you know what that means. I'm back in to move houses. Huh? Water houses. Huh? What's a free flag? What is it? Why? What are the answers? <laughs> what are your answers to these questions? Thank you. Um, I guess that was wow. some sort of alien that was some sort of you know M- wanting the yeah. answers curious about know. human stuff uh, listen I'll be I'll come clean I look at the tissue after I blow my yeah. nose and I look at I look at the tissue after I take a poop <laughs> you gotta you gotta know what's happening you gotta make sure everything is we, yeah, of course, of course, we you all gotta, do that. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> They're taking lie. away our two million listens. Like, the, it, like it's going backwards. <laughs> it's rapidly falling back. <laughs> like the stock market crash. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like in Ferris Bueller's when he tries to take oh. the miles off the car in the end. <laughs> oh my god! How funny. Well, wow. well, asking the big questions, <laughs> get the big answers. <laughs> that's all. That's all that's she all wrote. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. Final voicemail. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, all right, guys. Keep on calling. Uh, I am Allie Siegel. I am Melissa Stato. And I, producer Maria. Bye. Bye. An Erio's original. Powered by ACAST.